What's up, YouTube? My name is Justin from Party Rental Knowledge, and I teach tips and tricks in the party rental industry. Today, I'm going to teach you how to dry out your water slide, dry out your bounce house. It's all the same thing. It's all just a big old inflatable. When you put inflatables away wet, they become moldy and smelly. Okay, so now if you want to save a whole bunch of money on your inflatables, on your party rental equipment, tents, tables, chairs, concession machines, I'm coming out with a newsletter that's going to showcase all kinds of vendors for the entire party rental industry. And I'm going to put it all in one place and I'm going to send it to your phone. All you got to do is sign up at the phone number in the description or probably on this screen right here. So when you wash your inflatable, I'm washing this water slide. I washed it, actually washed this water slide two days ago, but I put it away wet because I thought it was going to go back out as a water slide. I do it all the time. This way you don't have to spend all the time drying because it's going to go out the next day as a water slide. Well, it's actually going out as a dry slide, so I put it up to dry. So make sure you check if you're using a water slide for both purposes, if it's going out wet or dry, and you want to make sure you have enough time to dry it out before you rent it out. Because a, a person that's renting a dry unit does not want a wet water slide. Okay, so when you're drying inflatables, water slides, bounce houses, or anything like that, what you want to make sure is that you got a nice sunny day and it's not going to rain. What's the point of trying to pull this thing out if it's just going to get poured on? Another tip. When you are drying out your water slide, here I'll show you. You go ahead, if it's full of water, you're going to take a water barrel that you use for your tents or for whatever you use your water barrels for and you're going to stick them underneath this water slide so that it's lifted up. So basically the whole water slide is lifted up in the air like this. So then all the water, once it's, once it's there, all the water will drain to one side or one corner of the bounce house and it dries faster. Another thing that I see people do, it actually puts wear and tear on the zippers of the inflatable, but you can actually open up the zipper slightly and it'll let a lot of the moisture out of it on a hot day and it will dry the inflatable out a little bit quicker but it puts wear and tear on the zippers okay so quick thoughts about drying inflatables while i'm editing this video i wanted to add some more stuff it could literally take two days for you to possibly dry a water slide at sometimes because it's so wet or outside is so humid they're really not drying as well or it's really cloudy and it didn't dry that well it could take a couple days to dry water slides out so be prepared and don't do this stuff last minute another thing to keep in mind is when you keep your units wet for a long period of time you do not want to just reuse it every week keep it wet constantly eventually you're going to want to dry them out because no matter they'll get slimy mold will develop like you can't just clean them and keep them wet and just use them wet forever. It doesn't work like that. Mold will build up. Okay, everybody. So hopefully you signed up for my newsletter and I'll come out with some more videos soon about taking care of inflatables, all kinds of other stuff about inflatables, tents, party rental equipment, you name it. Appreciate you for watching the video. Make sure you're out here being safe. This gimbal just messed up. Be safe, everybody.